next week. That was almost as good as Mark Williams' pink up into the <laughs> yellow pocket. Watch for the reaction. Oh. Listen, it's not a problem. Can you get it safe? Can you get it safe? Can you pot it? Can you pot it? Unbelievable what happens on this snooker table. 12 foot by 6. Green and Brown record. Green is there. Five. Such a cruel Twenty. game is snooker. So Ronnie well, pots the pink. Going. He's on the way to the dressing room. It's anybody's his frame now. <laughs> well, it's so, important that... Uh, that happened second time and not first, or else there'd have been 26 in it now with 25 on. But not so because he missed once already. Yes, for White, the pain of that shot, considerably dulled by the scoreboard. Not quite. Of course, the. Oh, well, oh. Not quite. One. Oh, what a three bangers. Stuart. Stuart was up, ready to come to the table. <laughs> Red above and to the left of the pink spots possible. Mm, he did, he got very close to it. Now, where's that second red going? It's in the pocket. Goodness me. What a time for a slice of fortune. <laughs> close to the red, but once it's ran loose, it's hit the second red, which has hit the cue ball. They've gone in the pocket, would you believe it? Horrid snooker as well. His opponent is now in, hitting hope. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, it's another fluke, all right. It's tough. He's gone for the double. He's got it's treble. It's the treble. No. Oh. 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 Wow. He took the double on because the blank was safe and he finished up with the treble. What a good, a good fortune that is. And Mark Allen with that fluke on the pink goes in. Thirty-one. Mm, trying to force the angle. Oh, well, 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 well. Quiet down, please. These things happen. You wonder how this went in, wouldn't you? Well, he didn't take advantage James Cahill, 30. of that stroke of good fortune. Where's the pink? <laughs> yes, yeah, you're finishing with the A couple of snookers needed now by Ricky Walden, and there's been just signs that it's not going to be a straightforward run to the line. Oh, well, how's he missed that? Well, he's not missed, has he? Cushions out one, two, three, four, five, six. That was nearly a seven cushion hit. Corner. Oh, was he fluke one? It's Judd's turn to have a fluke. But if he's straight on the yellow, attention, all pockets. Here we go. Is there anything in there? Is it two in? Why well, one in? the blue going wow well he had a couple of beauties against Jack Lazowski in the final session and well he's perfect on the red as well incredible yes and he smiled and looked Six. over at Kyron I don't think Kyron has felt the enjoyment the fluke was bad enough but for the cue ball to end in the only place where he can get to the red was just incredible yeah he's only got eyes for the cluster of reds here Stuart's a good target as well screw off oh you can't miss that blue Dear me. Oh, what a flick. One of 
Stuart Bingham's nicknames is Stuart Ball Run Bingham. But right now, it's a 50-50 frame again. Nothing safe apart from this red. No, oh, surely not. Oh. Surely not. Oh, my goodness me. That is unbelievable. And what a hammer blow for Mark Joyce. Unless he plays it that thin. Goodness me. One. <laughs> Got an angle to uh, get on the black. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Look at another one. He's been, a, he's been a bit unlucky this time. He's not on a colour. Mine. Gee, where's, I mean, that is, I mean, where the reds have finished and Stuart would be. A lot of guts to take on. Green. He's reneging this time, trying to push through the green, perhaps. Yeah, just trying to push through with it, but it just wasn't on, was it? Oh, when it's your time, it's your time. Those strokes of luck tend to go your way if you're playing as well as Trump is. One. As we always say, I'd rather be lucky than good. Yeah, we always say, no matter how much skill. It's not easy, I can't believe he's going another way here, but it's not easy to see Ken Doherty getting much more than 30 points while he went to the hit and hold. Oh, he's had a result! <laughs> but I can only say, well done Graham Dot, and Ken, Ken Doherty must be kicking himself now. What a stroke of luck he had there. Well done. If this goes right, what he's trying to do here is screw into the cushion. So when he hits the pink, the white will stop dead. Now, as long as he gets a, f a fullish contact on the pink, we'll have the same scenario as before when he snooked in behind the black. It depends how hard he hits this. But if, it, if he hit it hard, you've got to make sure you hit it full ball because half ball, both balls could end up in the same end half of the table. As he hit it half ball, as he fluked it. Oh, you can't believe what happened there. Well, what a shame the match had to end in that way. Mark Davis took really deep and got himself right back into the match. But an unbelievable flu from Ding Zhongwei takes him into the next round. Oh, oh. wow. Uh, well, we, <laughs> that is that is an important fluke. That really is. Well, so two's gone in. That's, that's even worse. <laughs> rubbing it in. Wow. Yeah. He'd have liked that red to have stayed out, the one that's going in the yellow pocket. Well, I don't think he's in any position to complain. <laughs>